Alright, so we defeated M Weapon. Granted, we haven't done this when it first came out, so a lot of the people who were, went with us were a little more over level than usual. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk to guys over here. And so it ends. But why would Rex throw away his life for this? Why indeed? You're right. If I'm ever to learn the truth, I must concentrate on the task at hand. Of course, we do not need to wait for Sid the Analyst to tell us the whole combat data that was used in this occasion. It galls me to think that my techniques and strategy could be so closely replicated. Nevertheless, the observations I made during the battle may yet prove useful. As a matter of fact, that was not the only information I was able to gather. I accepted a signal that revealed that the troops stationed here were permitted to withdraw, seamlessly in return for assisting the 7th Legion. They must have known that the Alliance would have followed the Elven Weapon here, sooner or later, and made good to their escape. Meaning, the way is now clear for Sid to expect while Machina's remains. We got here sooner as we could. Not that we could have done anything to prevent this strategy. Mm -hmm. From what we have known, it seems that the Ember Weapon was ill for Ilm, a great deal more powerful than the two previous. If this is allowed to continue, who knows what sort of monstrosity the 7th Legion will con conceive next. Nonetheless, Artorius has once again proved herself capable of overcoming the worst of the Empire as yet to its disposal. You may be re relieved to hear that the Castrum Ozidan was free from anything resembling a weapon. Unfortunately, it was also devoid of any useful leads, and we came empty handed and became empty handed. In all honesty, part of me wishes we had never found the Emerald Weapon. Perhaps then, Rex would have been forced to make the ultimate sacrifice. I only hope that he was finally at peace. Yeah, poor Rex. Granted, I didn't even know him there long. We will do what we can to spare others from this sharing his fate. I and the Ironworks will search of a place Earth to place top to bottom for clues of the fifth on the fifth Seventh Legion's plans. Before that, allow me to sweep the air for bodies, booby traps, and the like. I would not put it past the Imperials to have left a few surprises for us. Knowing them they probably would, because if they're getting left their place getting captured, might as well place a couple booby traps over here and about. Agreed. I will go with you. With that in mind, I will begin my examination of every weapon. Carefully, that is. Because more memories of Rex and the rest. Alphonse, you know all this time, didn't you? Lucinda and Rickon too. Everyone except me? And you, Rex! Yes, that is what the... Uh, Synthetic asteroid system is. The fusion between pilot and core is the key to Oversoul. Unless we use it, we don't have a chance of beating father's newfound friends. They stand between us and the primals. 
without which the weapons will never reach their full potential. We thought that if you knew the truth about Oversoul, you would try to stop us. And of course I would! But what I don't understand is why you all you why all you are so willing to give your lives for the weapons project. What is it all for? It all began the day father left. Without his guidance, his protection, the gardens lost any respect they once had for us. But their cruelty pales in comparison to Valens. To him, conscripts like us are expendable commodities, an endless supply of test subjects for his twisted experiments. Damn. But no matter what they do to us, we will never lose hope. If it is the duty of the strong to lead the weak, we will become strong to protect those who cannot protect themselves. The weapon project will give us give us the strength we need. We will create a world where people like us can live without fear and persecution. We want you to see this new world for your 70s, even if we must give our lives to make it a reality. But why me? The years spent serving the Emperor has changed us all, except you, Ali. Even if even after everything you've seen, you're still the caring, innocent girl we grew up with. More than any of us, you deserve a chance of at, at happiness. That's what we all have agreed. At least, listen to me right now. The soldiers assigned to watch over us have been called away to the capital. Nazi is your chance to get out of here. Then, why don't you come with me? If Alphonse and I were to run away now, they only force others to take our place. We cannot let that happen. This is our only way of upholding the ideals Father installed into us. Our lives are a small price to pay for Rirus freedom. No! How can you expect me to leave you behind? I won't do it! We will forever be at your side, Elise. Rex, take her to the holding cell. But wait! No! Let me go! So win or lose, the plan is to hand over the castrum to father. Is that right? Yes. They'll take Alice into their custody before the gardens return. While you will be free to pilot the Emma weapon without her interfering. We can't let her hinder the completion of the weapon project. I'm counting you, Alphonse. Don't let our sacrifice be in vain. Rex, have you forgotten what I have told you? You mustn't use the Roven Soul. I can't lose you too. We both know I can't win without it. Besides, we need a combat data of the Ever Weapons fighting at its peak. If we have to any chance of perfecting the synthetic artery system. You know, I'm not the sort to do things by halves. Forgive me, Rex. Don't you worry about me! If this is where I am at my end, I'll do it with a smile on my face. The rest is up to you, Alphonse. Man.
Wow, it's like they all giving up their lives even though they're full well they'll meet their doom when they pile up those things. Just to perfect the weapon system. This is the girl you spoke of, yes? She was locked in the cell, but I saw no harm of letting her out. I can't say for certain, but it seems she has been through quite an ordeal. You don't know the half right, Severa. <laughs> no! Why? Rex! Why? Gaius, once we extract the core, we'll take it back to the T-Crew for analysis. Perhaps she should come with us. There's no use for her staying here. Give me the fact that there's no one, nothing left for her here. Boy, oof. Knowing that each of your siblings or step siblings are dying one after another. This must be eating guys from the within. Severa is taking care of Elise, but it may not be some time until her nerves have settled. If the vision you witness is indeed true, Alpha and Rex lock her away for her own safety. When she is ready, I will know more of what her brothers hope to achieve and why he must resort to such desperate measures. Alice's condition has improved somewhat, but she remains in a state of shock. We must give her more time to recover. There was one other thing that I thought you should know. When we check her for injuries, we saw that her back is covered with swells and bruises. Mmm, must be that bastard. Who did this to her? I'm pretty sure it's that maniac. Yeah. It seems she was subjected to beating on a regular basis. Judging by the various stages of bruising, I dare say this was the work of her guardian masters. You speak as though you have seen this before. Seen? I have lived through it myself. I was born right, 23 summers past. My mother was a local woman, but my father was a pure blood guardian and a member of a occupying forces. Though I know very little about him, his rank afforded me imperial citizenship. His acknowledgement of our family ties was the extent of the responsibilities he took before bringing me into this world. Still, it is more than he can said for most of his ilk. My mother and I were shunned by the people of Wheat, who treated us as a badly as the Emperor did, if not worse. I thought that if I were to become a pure soldier, my position might somehow deter those who would cast scorn on my mother, if only out of fear. And so, I joined the army. The acceptance I earned was but temporary. However, and my superiors were quick to blame my perceiving shortcoming on my savage lineage. Rather than the waste, their, waste time on official court martial, 
they administer their own form of corporal punishment. I was eventually assigned to the 12th Legion and fought under Xenos, Yi, Gravelis, in Alamigo. In the chaos that followed our defeat, I seized the opportunity to flee to Reed. While I was on never much of a home, it was all I had, but nothing could prepare me for what I awaited. My mother had for many years suffered from poor health and relied on medicine to keep her alive. In my absence, the guardian had denied her treatment, claiming that it would be wasted on savages. By the time I could return to, the, to her side, there was not I could do. There was nothing left for me in right. I would be punished for desertion if the Imperials discovered the reason for my return and I was never accepted by my so-called countrymen to begin with. I ran as far as my legs could carry me. It was then that I met Gaius. So, this is the truth of it. Other than a few scant details, I knew not of your past. It sickens me that I could once fought under the same banner of such vile creatures. I always believed it was the duty of the strong to lead the weak, yet there are those who become drunk on the power afforded by their station and prey on the others and prey on ones they should protect. Like a canker, this corruption has spread to every part of the empire. Even those with a guardian blood such as myself are subjected to their cruelty. They hold particular contempt to Aura, an easy target for the abuse being with such in few in numbers. Perhaps like me, Ali thought she would be spared such treatment once she had joined our army. Alas, that wasn't the case. I only hope with time Ali could put the past behind her and make a new life for herself. But for now, all we're gonna do is wait for her delirium to subside. It is Venendim's turn to keep watch. Let us ask him if there's any has been any change to her current condition. Alright, let's talk to her. Man, she's been through a lot. I wouldn't blame her if she just shut herself in and never talked to anyone again. I suppose you're here to talk about Ali. Is she well enough to speak with us? As her condition has improved somewhat, I say so, provided you do not cause her a undue distress. Wait here. Ali, I am sorry for what happened to Rex. It was my fault. Lucinda and Rickon too, they died because of me and my foolish ambitions. Father! No. This cannot go on. Please, Elise, you must tell me all you know. Of course. First, I need to know what became of you and your siblings after we parted. So much has happened. It seems like a lifetime ago after your disappearance. We all were assigned to newly reformed 7th Legion. At first, each Ingris were quickly replaced by the next, until eventually a man named Valen Van Vario was given command. He was sent from the capital, 
but before that, he was a specialist in experimental magitech weaponry. We later discovered that he was ordered by the Emperor Virus to complete a project involving an anti primal war marker, the weapons. But after the Emperor's death, he was free to employ whatever methods he saw fit, and his greed for power only grew. Some even say he was planning to use the power of the weapons to lay claim to the throne. But I think there was another reason for his obsession with the weapons project. Not that he ever tell anyone, but he always muttering to himself, and I have been able to pull all the pieces together. He jealous of you, father. Huh, really? Valin Van Vario. I must admit, it was only recently I had first heard that name. Valens used his knowledge of magic to design various military strategies. He was given a position in the army and quickly rose to the ranks. That was until a man stood in his way. You, father. He was one of the candidates to lead the next 15th legion. But the role fell to you. After that, he was assigned to serve under the far more gifted engineer, Nero who was in charge of restoring the ultimate weapon. Valens has resented you ever since, going so far as to oppose the ideals you upheld, where you treated those who served the Empire based on merit, rather than on their own race or origin. Valens is an adamant that pure-blooded guardians are superior to all others. Never cease to amazing how far some will go in the name of revenge. All that hatred, fluttering away. Nothing good can ever come of it. You wouldn't probably know. So that mark on your body is his handiwork? Did he treat you this way? Yes, to Valens and his men, you were no more than fodder for his experiments. Playthings on what they can vent their frustration. Every day, it fills with nothing but pain. If I had remained in Garland, you would never have been forced to endure this abuse. It's not your fault, father. We couldn't fled for Valens if we wanted to. After all, we're expendable and easily replaced. The truth is, that's exactly why we couldn't run. In saving ourselves, we would have been condemning others. But if we were to stay, to see the weapon project to its completion, we can gain the power to feed Valens, and then the Empire itself, fleeing the world from its tyranny. That way, we might start afresh and find a place we can call home. And not just for us, but for everyone who wish to live in peace. You would give your lives for a future you may not live to see? Yes. We took courage from your teaching, Father. The strong must lead the weak, and we will gain that strength by whatever means necessary. We will fight for the sake for those who cannot. But we know you will never consent to our participation in the weapon project, which is why we cannot turn to you for help. As the pilots, we are the ones who will be able to stop Valiance. We know just how powerful the weapons are. You will use them to bring the world to its knees. And his Masterpiece is the worst of them all. If only I could get my hands on it, then I could save Alphonse and all of wealth. Father, I know you and Alphonse stand on opposite side of this conflict, but 
There must be some way you can help him. He may have called you our enemy before, but you never meant it. He still loves you, father. You're everything he inspires to be. I have failed him. Failed you all. But I refuse to abandon him to his fate. I will free him from violence. If it is, this is the last thing I do. Thank you. He needs you. Now more than ever. Listen, Elise. I once sought the strength to rebuild the world as I see fit. But the ultimate weapon was born not to create, but to destroy. Alphas must not follow in my footsteps. I know all too well where they lead. I will do all I can help your brother. Pray tell me where he is. He's... I'm sorry, I don't know where he could be. Hmm, are you sure you're not telling us something? In that case, I shall have the Lion's Dispatch Scouts. Wherever he is, we will find him. As for you, Elise, you must stay here and rest. Wait, you're the one who fought Rex, Rickon, and Missylindia, aren't you? Yes, that's me. We are the ones who threatened your homeland. You only did what you had to do. I have no right to ask this of you, but... Lend my father your strength. Save Alphonse! You betcha. I know now why they call you hero. Alphonse, I do what I must to free you, even if it means going against father's wishes. But I have a good feeling about his new friend. Severa, see that she has everything she needs. Yes, sir. Our allies must be informed of these troubling events. May I ask you to relay the news news to the troops in Grabarnia? Yes, sir. Your loving father, Act, may fool the others, Gaius, but not me. For every, every life you save, you end a thousand more. Or this is your idea of redemption. Call it what you will. For all my transgressions, I believe I still have a part to play. Hmm. Was I wrong to spare you that day? Or will you honor your word? It seems the time has come for the Black Wolf to show his true colors. Well, go back to the camp itself, I guess, to read of all the information. Oh, I'm in the hangar now. With the G weapon. Look at this beast. Oh, right, I decided to go back and check on the hangar itself. My bad, I think I, when I was doing this recording earlier, I just, I just realized I went to check the G-Web before actually going back to the camp and reporting our findings. Alright, let's talk to the men chars per usual.
We received word of your victory over the M weapon. I expect it was another fine display of your part. Not that any of us were to see it. For that reason, we are grateful that you would give us, us a blow by blow account. If you wouldn't mind. Uh, sure, why not? Good grief! It sounds like you had an awful lot of content with it. Content with? Rather you than me. <clears throat> I should add this to our ever growing stack of reports. Should anyone wish to review this information ahead of time, ahead of next sortie. Now, if you may really say so, it looks like that your orders have been taking their toll. We'll let you know if anything, anything requires your attention. But until then, be sure to get some rest. All right. 